Hello everyone, Empire Baron here, and welcome back. Finally, I have some action for you here from pre-release. I was waiting to get some players who were up to the high enough level to make some interesting games for you. Bubble uh, got up to that level and was nice enough to record this for me. So we will be watching Bubble in the free Greek civilization, playing, playing against Justice 5, and he will be in the premium civilization of the Greeks. So the difference is being that Bubble from the free civilization will not have a advisor hall, so he won't be able to use advisors and he won't be able to use epic or rare gear. So the advantage, as far as that's concerned, will be in Justice Five's court. Let's see how Bubble uh, tries to overcome this and maybe make this an interesting game. You see the line of sight on Bubble Scout isn't very big and that's just due to his gear. And so if you're a new player and you haven't seen uh, much action yet, that's how this game is based. It is an MMO style of an RTS that allows you to gear up your, your units. And we will see when we see some of Justice's units, some upgraded units. All right, so we see now Bubble is making his way around his side of the map, just filling in the blanks. He's got a couple cows already there. He's now got three villagers on wood, five villagers on food. You know this now. They added a little counter up next to the resource picture, and that number represents how many villagers you have on that resource. This is really important for balancing out your economy, which is a really big part of this game. We see now that Bubble has switched over some units over onto those cows. Those cows are a lot faster of a resource. We see now Bubble's scout is going to chase away that scout of Justice 5, and he is going to get those cows there in the middle of the map and move them back to his base. So that will be a total of four cows. You'll see he has a lot of villagers being trained at this first stage, first age you uh, just build villagers until you get to this number. It seems 15 for Bubble, and that will be when he upgrades his units. I'm not sure if it'll be different for Greek. I haven't done, I mean, for Egyptian, excuse me, I haven't done much PvP yet. We have one video of Master G Barry up, but I'm sure players will start experimenting with different different opening builds and styles. Egyptian, there's a, quite a bit of differences. I'm really excited to do a cast for Egyptians. Anybody out there who's interested in having their game casted, we are always looking for people. So let us know. Leave a comment below on the page. Send us a PM. We really want to cast good players or any player. If you have an interesting build or anything like that, fraps it or, at, or talk to me if you don't know how and we can help you figure out how you, to, how you can get it to the community. All right, so we are seeing now a villager kind of scout out this land. Didn't see anything else that he wanted, so he is going to build a barracks right towards the end of this age upgrade. Bubbles found a couple more cows here on the side of Justice Five's base. Just finished that age upgrade. Now he's going to upgrade the woodsman. That will allow him to get a bonus in gathering rate and carry capacity for that wood. He sees an archery range go down for Justice Five. So Justice 5 no doubt saw the barracks go down for Bubble and countered that with his archery range. That is a good strategy to play out at this early game. Archers get a, a strong bonus against that barracks units, the infantry units, and either mirror what the enemy does or make the counter. And that is the, the strategy Justice 5 is implementing. We will see what the second military base is going to be for Bubble here shortly. Still some villagers coming out and some hypas coming out now. And some more houses go down. Very standard play we're seeing here from Bubble. Solid. He's found quite a few cows. And that is enabling him to get that fast food resource. As well as not missing a beat in his houses. And he's going to put down a stables. So we are going to see a stables for Ceres. And that will be the direct counter to those archer units that Justice 5 puts out. Let's see how this game progresses from here. Bubble is getting close to the base of Justice 5 here. And he is going to see what Justice 5 is doing. And we are seeing now six on gold, five on wood, five on food. He's trying to pump his gold out a little bit here. And he's got five hypas 
that he is just using to protect. So in case Justice 5 decides to put on some sort of ambush here with his archers, the scout is now just working its way around the base of Justice 5. More houses go down. And we are going to see some more hypas be made and a series go down in an archery range. So the full range of buildings from Bubble, archery range now on its way. Some more houses go down. He is up to 21 villagers with two more in queue. So he is just really keeping his economy up. And that is the most important part, I believe, in Age of Empires, comparing it to other RTSs, where the economy is so important to balance your villagers out on the certain resources. This will enable you to really have an even amount of resources and or be able to use the resources that you are using for certain military units that you're building. Right now, it's a lot of hypas and series, and that's a majority, and they use food and gold. Whereas if you switch to an archery-based force, then you will uh, use more wood. So now we're seeing another archery range go down. This is a popular strategy I've seen implemented uh, a lot. One of each military building and then go heavy on the archers. So it looks like that is the route that Bubble has chosen. When you get to those third age, those peltis are very strong. Bubble hasn't scouted out the base of Justice 5 too, too much. He's focusing on, he realized it seems that Justice 5 did not get any cows. So he is going to go around and collect any of those cows that he can with this scout. And now he is going to take map control over in front of that choke point. It seems his scout sees there's no enemy units there. So he's going to move his forces up into that position that will allow him free reign of expanding his economy because he doesn't have to worry that any rogue units will be around for Justice 5 picking off his herd, his herds or his gold miners that are a little bit further off his base. And this is a good strategy, although you have to be careful because if you do lose map control with a weaker force, now your whole base is exp is open and we are seeing a rather large force for justice five as bubble sees he is forced to retreat here justice five was ready for that push by bubble and push it away we got to see all the crazy rare and epic gear that is on those units they look a lot beefed up compared to bubbles units here but bubble is not going to be bad night he's going to retreat a little bit and then really focus down on his economy even more it seems that Justice 5 is pretty content with just sitting back and turtling a little bit, pumping out his forces, and there was a scout of Justice 5 on the side seeing these forces come down for Bubble, and there's no attacks coming on, no threat of losing map control by Bubble, who is just going to now expand his economy out ever greater, a constant supply of villagers. I can't stress that enough. Make villagers, make villagers, make villagers, keep expanding your economy if you haven't checked out the finals game that played such a huge role and orctastic displayed just such a strong economy and that is just the key to this game now we are seeing the queue empty for a second here and let's see how long it takes him to respond as he readjusts all his sleeping villagers there goes a couple more villagers being created and hypas and series so still uh, mainly infantry and cavalry force. And we are going to see how long it takes him to get to this third age and, and push down this map. I'm sure he's perfectly content to keep growing up and advancing his uh, technology because it seems that when you have the free civilization, you're, the key is to get that armory upgrading and get your economy so strong that you're able to just keep reinforcing and let's see if bubble is able to get to implement that strategy so we are just seeing a stalemate between these forces as bubble is just he you see he moved that storehouse just a little bit closer to his wood line uh, the price of a storehouse is very inexpensive and it will pay for itself over a short period of time if you move it just a little bit closer to your wood and that will enable your villagers not to have to travel so far 
All right, these series are going to come in and got to try to get a little bit more information, and they are going to get all the information they need that there is too many units to fight there. So we are seeing another retreat. Even though Bubbles is keeping control over this middle part of the map, it seems that Justice 5 has more units, and uh, they are geared up quite a bit. So let's see if Bubble is able to overcome this. We see now that Third Age has been got to. Pedromos are in queue as well as Hoplites. So, and he's trying to make a, a barracks there. So we're seeing a barracks. No, he's going to cancel the barracks. He's going to make a stables. And then he's going to cancel the stables and make an archery range. So he decided on archers, it seems. And Peltis are going to come down. So we are going to see that force uh, bubble put to the test here very shortly i'm sure by these premium units and another storehouse gets even closer as he has so many units getting wood there you'll see 19 20 villagers getting wood we see that scout got kind of close to the force of bubble before it get picked off and i don't know how much information it got for justice five let's see if justice five realizes that he should have the force it takes to break through this i don't know what's taking justice five so long to react i believe if you see that your opponent has a free-to-play civilization you need to try to push the button as soon as you can on attacking and we are seeing now bubble just expand out he is expanding now into the base of justice five stealing herds of deer and pushing these this wood just to the limit 40 villagers already 44 40 four will be on their way with three more in queue now and we are seeing uh, a little bit of the force of justice five just sitting idly by he has just reached his build limit of houses this padromo is going to go in and get a little peek of it but nothing from justice five as far as a push here so let's see if bubble is gonna just be is gonna be able to break this that looked like a, a large force for justice five more archery ranges going down i believe he sees that his opportunity is to be able to reinforce his troops as quickly as he can some stone being gathered now here and because you see the size of that force for Justice 5 is going to force Bubble to retreat here. Bubble is retreating. Let's see how far back he has to go. And now Justice 5 is going to pick off this watchtower for Bubble and push Bubble away. So Justice 5 is content to turtle here and still give Bubble map control. We're seeing that rally point be moved back just a little bit, but now seven archery ranges will be pumping out Peltis, and he is going to be able to get to that max population so quickly. Look at 26 villagers getting wood, and another watchtower gets up oh so much closer to Justice's five's base. The first town center will be created, and that will... Uh, allow him to get a 20 more population and now he's going to build another barracks so he's going to have two barracks down and seven archery ranges so he is pumping out now padromos and peltis to the max and we are going to see how long it takes him to get from 140 population to the max of 200 population 48 villagers gathering resources what an interesting fight both players look like they are going to turtle until they get a max clash and it will be who can reinforce their troops the quickest let's see how it takes i am excited to see the conclusion of this one now it looks like that justice five is going to remove a little bit of line of sight here but bubble is taking that line of sight to the south side of his base and nope he is going to be forced to retreat that scout a little bit further south again Look at that wood line. Now we're going to see a town center go up. That stone has been mined completely. He's going to go find some more. He's working just about finished to get these seven archery ranges up. Look at how many peltas he is going to pump out here. And, and we are seeing that population jump up so quickly. All right. He's found some cows. So now he's going to move these cows back to his base and... Whew, what a battle we have about to happen here. The free civilization of Bubble soon will encounter what looks like a max population of Justice 5. And let's see how it takes place. 
Units are just pouring down the map for Bubble. He's going to get that armory up. He's going to upgrade his storehouse, upgrade for gold. And here we are, an engagement for these two rather large forces. Bubble is going to be forced to retreat a little bit here. It looks very even. He's going to turn around, clump his units together, and just really pick away at these units for Justice 5. Raining down Peltis Javelins at Justice 5, who is retreating down a little bit more. And there's a stalemate, a little bit of tension between the two as they both retreat back. And a stalemate again. Bubble is now replenishing those lost forces with Peltist, and he has almost reached max population, 50 villagers. Look at the amount of villagers he has in queue from these two town centers pumping out villagers, and he is just going to really get this economy booming. Look at the reinforcements pumping out of those units. Max population here at the 15 and a half minute mark. Let's see how long it takes him to push the attack button now just a stalemate in the middle he's getting ready it seems like to maybe upgrade these units he's waiting for these last couple padromos to finish i am excited for what is about to happen here folks all right a little bit of a delay here as these two units groups get back to full population and he is just really trying to upgrade and and here we go. Nair goes to archery upgrades. And now he is going to push forward. So here we go. Bubbles is going to push this very well-blended, mainly Peltist tro troop forward. And here it is, the engagement. Peltist start the action for Justice 5 as he rains down on these cavalry who are going to get picked off mighty quick here. These Peltists are going to be filling in the back ranks. Look at this force for Justice 5. Very even. I believe Justice 5 has a little bit of numbers on him here. Maybe he doesn't have quite the economy as Bubble has, but Bubble is going to be able to reinforce these units so quickly. And you're seeing more Peltists come in, and we are just seeing locked in battle. Both of these players both have a very even force. It looks like Justice 5 has a little bit of advantage, but then the units on the outside are getting picked away. Another Padromos comes in. Some more units are on their way, flooding down, but it seems that Bubble was able to overrun the forces of Justice 5. Those Peltis are so strong, it seems, for Greeks. And now we are seeing Hippocans come in for Justice 5, which means he got to that fourth age, and that will probably suck up a lot of the resources that would, he would use to reinforce that troop. And now Bubble is just going to have free range to really push through into the base of Justice Justice 5 in any second now he is going to be able to stop the economy production for Justice 5. We are seeing some more Hippocans come in, but I think that only two Hippocans against this force of, of javelins by these Peltists. And there is the garrison by Justice 5 who is now forced to pull his villagers in away. Bubble is going to now keep mining gold and put the pressure on. I don't believe that Justice 5 is going to be able to have the force to to push this away. He doesn't have nearly enough buildings. Now we're seeing Siege come in a little bit too late maybe for Justice 5. I believe this is the game. Thank you everybody for watching. There's been some really great activity lately. Uh, the, the, the game has been really full and we're really excited for what is to come. There's uh, They announced the Celts and they announced Persia coming up. And they've announced some really great things. Soon we'll have the Crete Booster Pack review for you. And we'll have some footage from that up. And once player can beat it on Impossible, we're excited to show it. It's a really exciting booster pack. They have uh, all epic gear on the computer. So uh, the, the rewards I've heard have been pretty good. There's some good news on the PvP front. Soon we will be able to get loot chests again for PvP. And that would that was some exciting news. And hopefully soon we will have uh, some exciting news of our own from the I Love AoE online community. So stay tuned on our channel. Please subscribe if you liked my cast. There's going to be a lot more to come. I'm going to have an uh, Egyptian one for you and some tips and strategy videos for you and more quest videos for you. We're going to have some all the uh, challenges we will uh, show how to do them the best way. So if you're having trouble with them, you know, ask us 
and we will be happy to post video for you. As I said before, we are looking for people to cast. So if you feel like you're a good player and you want to see your game up on the I Love AOE online community with my voice in the background, then please contact me. I will be happy to do it. I'm really excited to do as many of these games for the community as I can. And we're really looking forward to all the things Microsoft team has had in store. Uh, they've been really doing a good job communicating to us and listening to us. They've added some major things that the community has cried out for. And we've heard some really good news about some other things that are in the future. So, so please, if you haven't tried this game out yet, it's really worth it. And it's free. So go check it out. It's free. Download it and see what it's about. It's a really exciting game. Come back to our channel. Look back at all the videos that we've done. It's a really exciting game. I've heard some people dissing on the graphics, and I don't think it's fair because I'm really enjoying the creativity and the artwork, and I'm enjoying the all the gear and how it affects the graphics. And I think that there's going to be a really lot more to come with this game. And there it is, Justice 5 Resigned. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Please subscribe and watch our other videos. Empire Baron out.